Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm in Chester, Nebraska. It's about 90 miles southwest of Lincoln, and the town was named after President Chester A. Arthur. It's a very small town, 230 people population, 1,630 foot elevation, and the Verizon internet here is very, very slow. But the good news is they do have a free hookup park here in the city park. So I'm going to show you around. It's right near the southern border of Nebraska. It is a small town with a big heart, it says there. Little boy in blue, don't know what that means. <laughs> They do have a very nice park here, however, their RV parking facilities here are very limited. There's a water hookup you can use and there are only two of the power boxes and each one is a small box that just has a 30 amp. Just two small spaces and I don't know who's truck this is it's been here I've been here for about three hours now I've seen nobody come up to that truck and about an hour and a half ago this RVer pulled in that parked on the side of the road there they knocked on my door and asked me if I knew about this truck and I told them I didn't I've seen nobody so that truck is wasting away one of the only two RV hookup spaces. Two big concerns when I pulled in. One was not hitting these trees, <laughs> those tree limbs, and my satellite antenna, which amazingly found an opening in the sky there so it could see the satellite. And the only campground information I could find here is this sign that says, overnight camping only so I guess you're not allowed to camp during the day <laughs> and that is the restroom building here there is a really nice covered picnic area and also it is used as a farmers market on Wednesdays got a trash can there and let's see what else is around the park here. Next to the children's playground is a tennis court, a volleyball court, and half a basketball court on concrete. And across from there is a baseball field, the concession stand, and a big stage. I wonder what to use that for. All I know is that it is not for general public use. <laughs> the other side of the baseball field is a nice big green lawn with swings. Now this is odd. Hole one. That's the only one of those I've seen. And what is this for? To hang yourself? <laughs> if you want to take a break from camping, they do have a motel. I don't know how many stars this motel is. But I'd say it's pretty low on the scale of stars. <laughs> right next to the motel, is Cafe Foot. It's open. It's closed. <laughs> Here are the hours. Looks like it's closed on Saturdays. This says it's also a truck stop, but it's a truck stop without any fuel. I don't think they're going to get much truck stop business here. 
they have an antique store with an antique windmill that is still running. I looked up Chester, Nebraska on Wikipedia and it said that it is the home of six-man football. It was invented here. I guess that is Chester's claim to fame. Well, when your town is this small and that's all the boys you can get to play football, <laughs> I guess that's what you do. You invent football that only requires six guys. Right in front of me here is a nice big lawn with a little bit of shade. I'm only going to stay here a couple days. The only real attraction for me here is the restaurant, but with free electric and water, can't complain too much about that. <laughs> Good day, folks.